first day working at Crate and Barrel, so I'm making breakfast right now over there, and my toast is ready, so let's go. I'm so excited, and I did a little cute outfit. I'll show you, so yeah. I just spilled the whole tea bag that opened up, so I have to take it all out and clean it. It's always dark before the light. There is a tunnel before you run. You gotta stumble. Price tag. So that was good. I literally walked in. Saw my manager look at item that was returned. I come by and I'm like, oh, that was a return. So it sounded like I guess I was here for a bit. That is self love. You think I'm going crazy, but I'm not missing you. I only miss the illusion you pretended to be. I'm not acting crazy. I just said we're through. Baby, you gave. Welcome back. It's been a while. So I've not felt like vlogging for a bit because I was just trying to take it all in. It was definitely a big day for me and I just wanted to process it all correctly and just process it myself before I can vlog and tell you guys about it and how I'm feeling and everything because it's definitely been, it kind of felt like the last day of camp today, you know, finishing off my job and at a place that I have tremendous gratitude towards and I'm so thankful for and I think why it felt so special and, and, and I'm so happy to move on so happy to move on but also at the same time Crane Barrel was my home moving to LA has not been easy it's been very challenging and for a while now I felt a lot like I was just in survival mode and just trying to make it and now that I got this new job and think that the pay is better and the schedule is better, I feel like I've made it and I can breathe. So, you know, basking into that sunshine, sunlight, and era for myself is incredible and exciting. But at the same time, Crane Barrel has been an amazing environment for me to be in because moving here 
I was dealing with a lot of stuff in my personal life that I had to deal with. The Korean Barrel has really been a comfort and security place and the environment there and the employees that work there, like shout out to Korean Barrel, really an amazing environment. Like I will miss my managers, I will miss my coworkers, everybody, there's so much love there, so much respect, so much respect, which I so very much appreciate. So I think like that was my safe place and I knew that was consistent for me while living here. So it's definitely it feels exciting and happy, but also I think like closing that chapter um, is definitely something I'm emotional, sentimental about and I'm processing it and um, it's exciting. So um, yeah, so I've just been processing a lot. My new job will take a lot of concentration and perfectionism and learning. I will rest up and get ready. So um, I came home and I just ate a little bit and I cooked some pasta and I was really going to sleep but it's literally 7 p.m. I got these guys. I think I'm gonna eat a little bit of this. Hey everyone. So I don't know if the quality is gonna be amazing on this because I'm filming on another device so that I can use my phone to answer y'all's questions anonymously. So we're gonna go through them. Some of them are mm, like starting with that one asking can you share your story what's your type of a girlfriend what are deal breakers okay we should start answering questions because otherwise <sighs> it's fine i'll start with this one what's your type of a girlfriend and what are deal breakers my type i wouldn't say i have a type i would say it's more like i do maybe have a type but um somebody who can appreciate me somebody who can who is very thought out and in tune with their emotions and themselves somebody who's really hot and pretty um and somebody really appreciation is like my most important thing like someone who can really appreciate um and validate me because i fucking i feel like i do a lot in life and I would want somebody who can appreciate that and share the journey with me and um, someone who I can appreciate and love on and live a life together. I have a huge crush on you. Tell me! My biggest pet peeve is when people are into somebody, like somebody's into someone, right? But they're like, no, I want them to come to me, which is fine. I'm, I'm a... I would initiate, but I know some people like will be like, no, I want them to come to me. Dude, maybe they're, they're thinking the same thing. Um, how did you do it? Buy your dream car, move away from your family. How did you afford it financially? So thank God I lived in Miami for a year in my parents' home after college in New York. And I started my own business and getting my own clients. So then I literally just saved money up. I just saved up all my money and I didn't even know I was going to move to LA. And I saved money because I knew I wanted to buy a car. So that was like one of my biggest goals and thinking I didn't have a lot of expenses. So that was how I was able to do it and get my car. And then moving to LA, honestly, it was definitely like, thank God I was able to make it here. But even once I made it here, living here for the first couple months till now, six, seven months has been very, very scary. And I would say I definitely had like panic attacks and was terrified about money and stuff like that even with the job I had that it's just very very expensive in LA so I'm very grateful that I'm moving on to a better job and a better paying job and that's why I'm saying I feel like I can finally breathe um so yeah that's my answer that um thank god I had that year where I was able to save money up and not worry about rent and stuff like that and I was able to move out but I do definitely encourage people if they want to move somewhere especially to LA save for sure 10,000 maybe aim to have like $20,000 just to move out what's in your Spotify top songs Fletcher is definitely always my top love your style love your drive to work and hard to get places thank you I, I really appreciate that I really love your attitude to life I really want to meet you maybe one day that is really sweet please reach out to me do you have a crush on anyone I'm 
my did you take a designing course when and where so i talk about that in my podcast about interior design so check that out if you haven't already um but i did take a course at tti in brooklyn two years ago one year oops a one year like intense program all right so i just filmed this video answering anonymous questions from y'all so that was fun but I think I'm going to close out today's video because I'm just really tired. And what time is it? It is... It's like 9, 8. So I mean, just like go to sleep, chill. Like I'm just feeling really drowsy, but I'm definitely really happy I'm done. Still processing it all and yeah, just chilling. Have a good night or a good day whenever you're watching this. Remember you're amazing, loved, and smart.